Lastly, for this week, I want to do a quick review. So we've got a few learning checks in this video. First one, believe it or not, this is important for this week's content to be able to compare the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous systems. So please pause the video and do this as best you can. Now I'm going to pop up the answers here. So general functions, and I want you not just to know the terms, but what they mean, right? So ener energy storage versus um, energy use. Location, this is the craniosacral, but also telling me that they're in the lateral gray horn. So putting that together, and this is our thoracolumbar region, but also again, lateral gray horn is specifically where they are. The preganglionic fibers are long for the parasympathetic nervous system and short for the sympathetic. ACH is released in both situations from both of those preganglionic neurons. The location of the ganglia for the parasympathetic is near the effector or target. Sympathetic is near the vertebral column. What is this called? Our chain ganglia or trunk. The postganglionic fiber is short for parasympathetic, releases ACH and long for sympathetic, releases norepinephrine. The, the exception would also be epinephrine from the adrenal medulla. Um, this is kind of our, yeah, leave it at that. Okay, let's now compare the physiological effects of these two systems. So please pause the video, and there might be one you trick, tricks you up here, but do the best you can to um, say whether these things are going to increase or decrease due to stimulation of each nervous system division. Okay, heart rate down, up. Respiratory rate, so breathing, oxygen intake, pupil size, right, right? These are all things related to energy usage, fight or flight, et cetera. Here we've got a different one, digestion, rest and digest, up and down. Sweating is one I mentioned that occurs, right? When you get stressed out, um, when you're running from a bear, you start to sweat. So we've got this, this actually doesn't respond. So this is kind of cool. The sympathetic nervous system innervates those apocrine sweat glands, also called those ecrine that are creating that hypotonic sweat that allows you to cool off when you're running from a bear. There's no innervation from the parasympathetic nervous system to those sweat glands. So there's no change. When you rest and digest, you don't start sweating less. You just start sweating when you run from a bear or when you get stressed out because you're doing a class presentation or whatever. And sweaty armpits. Ooh. Okay, reproduction, this one we've got arousal. So was, this was that erection um, and then climax here. So ejaculation or um, contractions, all good. Okay, one more, I believe I like this one. I made this diagram um, similar to that picture that I showed you that I love, I made this myself because that's what helps me review this stuff. So label each of these three cells here, which are in the central nervous system with their signaling pathways as parasympathetic or sympathetic. Name the neurotransmitters released every time you see an axon terminal and name the receptors that are present. Uh, let me move myself, oh, that's right. On wherever there's something that has a receptor, that would be the ganglion neuron and the effector. Okay, sympathetic are our purples here. ACH is released from every single presynaptic, I'm sorry, preganglionic neuron, whereas the postganglionic neuron releases some different stuff. This is going into the bloodstream, right? So it's actually a hormone. Neurotransmitters are the only signaling molecules here besides these are hormones. Lastly, the receptors 
here are nicotinic receptors at those on the neural ganglia within the on the cell bodies within the ganglia. And then we've got some different types. So and it's getting a little messy for the sympathetic nervous system. We've got alpha and beta. So that's here and here. This would be throughout the body, various organs, those same organs that are responding to sympathetic stimulation. So anything, um, for example, those ecrine sweat glands are going to have either alpha or beta receptors. They do not have muscarinic receptors. Muscarinic receptors are located where parasympathetic fibers innervate their effectors. So draw something out like this for yourself to practice. <laughs>